Hello and welcome to another C Sharp tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to go to an HTML page and get information off of it. So first we're just going to dec uh, decorate the form. So we're going to put a couple of list box and then a button. Alright, so now let's get into the code. So, uh, well, um, in order to do anything to access the internet, you need a w web client or a web server or a uh, web request or and so forth. But for this, we're just going to use the um, web client. Um, the namespace, was, which is obviously important, we are going to be, the namespace is system.net need that one. We also need system.io and we need system.text.regularexpressions. So first let's go ahead and just access the internet. And so to do that we're just going to do a web client. Okay, so now that we have access to the internet using the web client, we now need to go use the web client to go download an HTML page source. So to do that, we're going to use a string, not the normal string, a capital S string. And we're going to use the web client, so string. Now what this is going to do is going to go to wherever we're going to tell it to go to and download the page source. Now for this tutorial I'm going to be using a website that my dad has created because I have access, yeah, just because. So we're going to do, enter the um, URL. Now, I'm I'm gonna extend the URL to a specific page into the um, website that I know I want. It's, it has a list of dates of events, uh, dates and cities of events. So. Okay, so now you have the URL. So what's but what the string is doing is it's using the web client to download the source, the page source for this uh, page. So now we're going to go into our website. In this case, I'll use Firefox because you can view the entire page source. We're going to go ahead and view page source. Hold on. So this is HTML. So what we're going to do is follow a link to a second page. All right. So see how there is a date listed here, 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 here. There's also the uh city also listed so that's what we're going to find that's what we're going to get we can get the city first because it's a little bit simpler so we need to look what's surrounding the current uh element that you want so in this case for the cities we have a strong uh, so what we're going to do, I'm going to memorize, uh, minimize that. I'm also going to be using regular expressions. So now if you don't know what regular expressions are, they're basically logic to filter and match certain characters in a 
string. And so use it, we're going to add a match collection. Since we're going to be looking for multiple matches, I'll just call this M1. So then we can make it equal to regex, which is short for regular expression. Dot matches. And then in brackets, we're going to do, we're going to list what string we want. And then we're going to do the regular expression. And then we're going to do the expression option. So for string, we're just going to do HTML, which is this up here. That's what the page source is going to be. And then a string pattern. And I'll just get to that here in a second. And now you want to do regular expression options dot single line. So it's going to be searching line by line. Okay, so now let's get back to the regular expression. There are tons of tutorials on regular expressions out there. So I'm not going to go too deep into it. I'll just show you what you need to for finding or for finding stuff in between HTML brackets. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add that strong HTML bracket. And then we're going to go add a space. Now in then in parentheses we're going to do dot plus question mark. Now, for those who know what regular expression it is, this should be easy. You should understand it. But for those who don't, it's basically going to be searching for this te text, which is the strong, which is the first bracket. Then it's going to do a space or how m multiple spaces until it finds something else. Then it's going to do look for any character and the, the word that doesn't matter how long and big it is. And then we're going to do the ending bracket. Oh, we need to have that space. So, but within the parentheses, that's going to be a group, the first group. So that whatever is in between these two is going to be that a group. And so that's how we're going to access whatever it is. So right now, this regular expression is finding the entire line from this and from the strong first bracket to the uh, strong ending bracket, but it's only going to is grouping what's ever in between it, and that's how what we're going to access. All right. So now there's multiple multiple of them. There was, as you can see, there's not just one. We're not just looking for one city. We're looking for all the cities. So we're going to do that. We're going to do for each. Now, basically for each match M, which is the wherever the match is. So match M and is M is a variable for the match, I guess, in M1, which is the uh, match collection that we just created. So for each match, basically for every match in the string that's this found, we are going to um, set the string. Uh, city. So now we're going to set it to a string. So we're going to do M, which is that match. So we, uh, M is the match. And we're going to groups, and within square brackets, we're going to name which group we want. In this case, we're going to have one group, so we're just going to do one. Then not a value. So basically, what this is, is my bad. city equals whatever this group is. Then we're going to, oh, we're also going to add lists, my bad. I have them pre-made. There you go. So, yeah, these are just lists and uh, arrays or whatever you want to call them. So now we're just going to do cities dot add. Let's see. So now it's, it's going to go for each match. So every match in the string is going to 
basically add it to the list. Now, we do have an issue from doing this. Up here, as you can see, the dates and cities is also surrounded by strong. But we don't want to see the dates and cities. We just want to see the city itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to do if m dot group one uh, value does not equal to the now so what I'm doing right now is I'm basically telling the program to look if it's if the match is date and cities and then just skip over that I could put that in the regular expression but this is just a little bit easier okay so now ev for every single match it's going to add a city to the list so every city basically it's going to add a city to that list so now I'm going to set the list box on the list box at one dot data source So now I'm setting the list box data source to the list, the cities list. So now let's go ahead and run the program. Click button, and now you can see it went in and it found every single city based off that HTML. So now we're going to do the same for the dates, and it pretty it, the dates is almost identical when it comes to all the matches. But we're going to be looking for something different. So we need to create another match collection. So we'll name this match2. And we're going to modify the regular expression. So let's go to the dates. And as you can see, the dates is not as simple as the other one. It has this big, huge, this whole span class equals black. So we're just going to copy that. And we're going to throw that in here instead of that strong now that prob the, the problem with that is now the blacks all messed up so we're going to remove this at sign which allows you to use the backslashes as backslashes and we're going to throw a black backslash between each of these um, each of these quotation marks and we're also going to have to double backslash the two S's to make it uh, work. So, and then the ending bracket was just span. So now it's basically looking for the two, bra two HTML brackets, span class equals black and span, which is what our dates are in between. All right, so now down here, for each match and match two, we want to do the same thing. String instead of city will be date. And it's the same process as before. Except this time, we're not going to have that dates and cities. So we can just skip over that dates and cities. All right, and then down here we're going to make list box two dot data source equals dates. So let's go ahead and run the program, and now you can see that it went and found all the cities and all the dates, and it actually did in order. So for instance, Tampa, Florida is the April twelfth, and if you go all the way down, and if we open up the as you can see, April 12th, Tampa, Florida. 
So it's also in order. So if you want to do a link database, you can also merge these two together. So that is how you use regular expressions to go into an HTML page source and get information.